Hey masters, welcome back to Juang Media. This is another video about GitHub Actions. Welcome back. And today I'm gonna try to execute a, a set of scripts in a GitHub workflow. Uh, the idea is to modify this uh, project. You're gonna see this project in a few seconds. Um, we're gonna be modifying, for example, some functionality or, or some UI change. And then we are going to be triggering a, a, a GitHub action workflow over here and you are going to learn how to do it step by step. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, understand what is GitHub actions. Basically, GitHub actions um, help you to automate tasks within your software development lifecycle. Um, GitHub actions are event driven and meaning that uh, you can run a series of commands after a specified event has occurred. Let's imagine that every time someone create a pull request, right, for, for a, a custom repository, you can automatically run a command that execute a software testing script to make sure that, uh, well, there is nothing broken at all, right? <laughs> and here with this diagram, we can see, um, well, a basic idea, right? Let's imagine that this event is the, the pull request. So inside a job, we can set a uh, different steps, right? A set of different steps. And uh, we can uh, kind of um, set up our application, set up our Cypress environment and execute the scripts. So um, we can go beyond that, have multiple jobs, different steps, but this video is gonna be a pretty simple, but you are under, we're gonna understand uh, what I mean, right? So uh, we have different definitions here, like workflows, uh, events, jobs, steps, and actions. But I think that it could be easier to understand if we put these concepts in practice, okay? So let's go ahead uh, to my project, which is this testing list. This is not my project. It is from uh, Flip. So uh, I ju I'm just using it for, for this demo purpose, right? But it is from it is a, a project from from him all the all the cheers for it for this body right <laughs> so i'm gonna come back to my project i'm gonna be cloning it in my in my computer so i'm gonna go to my repository folder i'm gonna open a cmd and here inside i'm gonna be cloning my repo right so there it is it is gonna cloning my my files so if i go inside of my um cd testing list project uh, I can install the dependencies. I'm sorry. Yes, it, it, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Um, MPMI. Okay, there it is. Now it is installing my dev dependencies and project dependencies too. So I'm going to be opening my Visual Studio Code. Here I can open this. Uh, I'm sorry. I can open my, my project inside of my repos, right? So I'm going to look for testing lists. There it is. I select this folder and then, uh, well, I have this installed correctly. Now uh, I can go ahead and, and start my application. So I, I'm, I'm going to check my package.json file. I can see that I have two different scripts in this case. So to start my, my server, live, my local server in my computer, I just have to run npm run start. And uh, in a few seconds, we're going to have this application up and running in this a, in this path, right? Localhost with the port 3000. Okay. Um, this application, it is a, well, a simple one. We can add different to do's, right? Also, we have the endpoint exposed over here in case you want, you want to do some API testing. For example, if you take a look of this path, we have the, the to do's listed over here because it is using uh, if i am not wrong this um, json server over here which is pretty useful and uh, um well we we're gonna be triggering some tests because i have i have already done that so if i execute a uh, cypress 2 over here i'm gonna open a cmd console and i'm gonna be opening my test runner with uh, npm run cypress open okay and we're gonna be opening my test runner immediately the idea of this video is just to show you uh, this procedure in my local computer to translate this in in uh, in a workflow action right 
in a GitHub action. I'm sorry. So as you can see, if I trigger this uh, execution, you're gonna take a look of this. We can add a to do. Um, uh, it is not. It is not, it is not working because uh, I need to refresh my my database, right? So let me do it. There it is. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do it again. There it is. Now we can add a to do and we can delete it. That, that's good. Also, as I told you, we can uh, perform some API testing uh, doing a, or using a side request command. So we can do send the, the post request to patch it, uh, get or delete it, right? There it is. We have some issues here. I'm, I'm not sure why. It is probably... Um, let me uh, refresh my database again. Probably some local issue. I'm gonna discard, discard my changes mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna execute this again. To have a length of two but get three. For some reason, my delete is not working, right? Hmm. Not sure why. It is probably a matter of my server. Let me do this because sometimes I, I have some issues like this. So in this case, I'm going to delete my changes in the database, right? So I'm going to discard it and I'm going to execute the, um, the application again. You'll see that it is going to work now. Sometimes it, it has a kind of issues when I execute it locally, right? There it is. Now I can post it. I can patch it. I can delete it and I can get it. So, um, as you can see, my UI and API testing is working correctly, right? So uh, I want to execute this set of tests, but now in, in GitHub Actions environment, okay? So I'm gonna go to my repository. In this case, it is testing list over here. And inside of the Actions tab, you can create your first workflow, okay? So you have uh, some workflows already made. However, I want to make my, my own over here. So I have to click on Setup. Uh, my my workflow uh, my first workflow right and here we have to define the different uh, steps in my YAML file okay so I'm gonna delete all of all of this stuff over here and I'm gonna start doing my my own uh, YAML file okay um, the first thing that we have to define here is a name in this case right so I want to define this or set this as uh, Cypress tests okay. This is gonna be the name of the workflow, okay? Uh, then we are gonna be defining also the, um, I have this concept here. We're gonna be defining the event or the event where, where, uh, that is gonna be triggering a workflow. In this case, I want to trigger this workflow when I receive a push from, from Git, okay? So I'm gonna be doing this this over here it is not pitch it is push <laughs> and then we have to define the jobs okay we can have different jobs in this case I'm, I'm just gonna have one and the name of this job is gonna be named Cypress run okay and uh, here we have to define different stuff for example um, the first thing that we have to define is where it is gonna be executed in this case I want to do it in Ubuntu so I have to define it over here Ubuntu latest. We can do it in different environments, right? For example, if I come here and take a look of this, we can do it in Ubuntu latest, uh, Windows latest, or Mac OS latest, for example, right? Um, then uh, we can do different uh, steps in, inside of this job, okay? So uh, inside of the steps, we have to define different actions. Uh, here in the marketplace, we have different actions already made by the community. Right. So, for example, I want to clone my repository and, and have everything ready. Right. I want to check out the the repo in the in the virtual environment. Right. So I want to look for um, an already action made by actions, actually. <laughs> and it is uh, this one. And if I want to use it, I have to define the name, the uses. And in case I want to do uh, some uh, configuration like some to specific to specify some branch or some tag or if I need to specify some SSH key you can do it with this with uh, key over here right however in this case I just need to define the name and the uses okay so I'm gonna do it there it is mm -hmm. 
perfect. And then, as soon as I have checked out my uh, repository in the in, in the um, in the virtual environment, I also want to uh, set another step, which is gonna be the Cypress one. Uh, in this case, uh, Cypress already have one too, so I'm gonna be looking for it in the marketplace. I have to look for Cypress, and there it is. The Cypress I.O. by Cypress I.O. with this check mark, <laughs> which is the official one. And here you can see that we have different options. Um, we're gonna be needing this name, of course, and then we have to define the uses. In this case is this one. I'm sorry, let me see. I think that uh, my screen is not, is not helping me. <laughs> there it is. I have to define the name and the um, and the uses. Okay. Huh. Um, let me see. <laughs> it is uses. Mm -hmm. uh, double dots, and I have to ident this and then do it again. There it is. And in this action, we can define some uh, actually different parameters. For example, if I want to send my results to the Cypress dashboard, you can do it just sending the record key over here. Uh, or if you have some JSON file configuration, uh, you just have to specify here. If you have environmental environment um, variables, you can define them here. Uh, if you want to do it in different browser than Chrome or or Firefox, I don't know, you can specify it over here. Um, in this case, I, I am going to be using one which is a start. Let me show that. Start. In this case, I'm going to be using the start one and it is going to help us to start a local server in the background. Basically, what we're going to be doing is this stuff that I did in my local computer, which was npm run start. Okay. So with this with parameter, I just have to specify npm start. And there it is. It is gonna be starting my um, my um, well my local server, right? But it is not at, as, as simple as this. <laughs> I have to do it differently. I'm sorry. I have to come here and do it a start over here and specify the command start. There it is. Now that I have defined all the stuff, I just have to commit the changes to to my um, to my repo. Okay. There it is. Now I have to push this in my local repository in case I want to do some change or something like that. Let me show you this. I'm going to be opening uh, another command from here. I'm going to be pulling the changes from from master, okay? To grab the YAML file that I, ju I just have created. As you can see in, inside of the that GitHub uh, folder Workflows, I have this main YAML file. Now, uh, well, we are defining this uh, custom workflow, right? And I want to discard this change over here. Let me see this discard, okay? So uh, the next step, just to, well, kind of emulate something real. <laughs> it is not real at all. It is just a demo, right? Uh, if you take a look of this and uh, if I come here to my HTML file, the index one, I can change, for example, the, the header or, yeah, the, um, let me show you this, the, the app title, right? In this case, it's to do's. However, let me just uh, do some change in the project. I don't want to make a JavaScript change in the view model. Um, let's change the, the, the H1 uh, parameter, right? So I'm going to be having another title over here. And I want to send this, um, send this change to my, my repository. And I want to make sure that when I push this, well, uh, trigger, it triggers a, a, a GitHub workflow and make sure that everything is still working as expected, right? So in this case, I just have to do a, 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 a push, right? So I'm going to be committing this. Like um, changing title. And then I have to push it to my repo. As soon as I, I do this, we're going to be triggering the, the GitHub action, right? So if you come here to the actions, you're going to see that we have this workflow here named changing title, which is the one that I have specified in my commit, right? Do you remember? 
Uh, let me see, I cannot find it. There it is, changing title. It is testing it right now. And if I come inside of the of the execution, let me see if I'm recording, I am. If I go to the execution, you can see that it has like different steps or phases. We have the setup job. Here we can see uh, details about um, where it was, it is gonna be executed. Um, for example, uh, let me see the environment, the operating system, Ubuntu, right? This is the, li the latest version, LTS, and more details about it. In the checkout action, we can see that it is, uh, well, cloning my, my repository, right? And, uh, well, setting up my, the, the, the repo in my, in my environment. Then we have the Cypress IO action, and as you can see here, it is currently, uh, it was currently um, starting my application in the, as you can see here in the, um, in a local host, right? Correct. And then it was executing my tests automatically. It was checking the API, the post, the patch, the delete, the get, and also probably the UI part, um, add to do's, delete to do's, as you can see here. And uh, well, we have videos, we have all the stuff. And in the post checkout, it takes takes a look, actually clean up, as you can see here, the environment. And in the in the complete job, it is just terminating the process, okay? Uh, at the end of this, you can see that in the summary, in the actions part, we can have different workflows. In this case, I just have the Cypress test. And uh, well, we have a check here because everything is working fine after this push. You can do it in different phases, right? For example, when you make a pull request or something like that. But it is just a kind of demo. You can also do it in with Docker images. I can try to, well, give you this example in a future video or maybe in the Udemy course, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Guys, it was a pleasure. Please subscribe and let a like, let a comment too and see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.